These aren't your average speed boats out on Grand Lake. The sleek wooden crafts travel around 60 miles per hour. You really just got to try to pick your way through the, the, the traffic because there's a lot of boats out there, there's a lot of uh, wakes and stuff, so you can find a good clean line and then you can really let the motor just sing and run and go fast. The Preskill Yacht Club and Top of Michigan Outboard Racing Club partnered to hold the first ever Fireside 500 stock outboard race. It's the second longest marathon we have in Michigan and that's like it's huge for us because they're pretty low as it is. For the Top of Michigan Club to put on this race on this lake uh, was great and uh, I'll definitely be back. And here they come around for the first annual Fireside 500 Marathon. It's really exciting all about boat positioning and where you are in the boat and how you control the boat because if you don't respect the boat the boat won't respect you. Especially on those sharp turns. Speed and position were even more important in the stock outboard short course. The 25 runabout, uh, there was some pretty good competition in that. I really had to kind of keep on my game. It was pretty rough out there, so uh, it made it interesting. Grand Lake and its islands are a beautiful location to hold a race, but for competitors like Pearson, it's not his first time competing around here. For me, it's really special because my first win ever was in Alpena here. I went downtown Alpena when we used to race over there, so it's really cool to come back like 30 years later and get another win. Preskill County hopes to see racers like Pearson again next year for the second annual Fireside 500.